little bit. Get up there. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Welcome back to the allotment. The sun's coming back from university today. So they're away down to pick him up. He's had his COVID test. He's passed it. He's, he's COVID free there now. So Melanie and Ellie are away down picking him up and coming back on the same day because the kind of hotels are all the pots and everything like that. Oh, so I'm on, well, not, I'm not on teas. I've got to fetch the veg for teas. The daughter's doing the teas, but I've got to get some veg. So here we go, I'll get a few buckets and let's start digging. <laughs> so I'm hoping I've got enough stuff. It's funny, you know, he's been like a, a pampered prince when he's been up here, but he's had the, you know, the student life. And he was telling us on the phone that, he says, you never guess what, Dad. He says, well, I went for a kebab. <laughs> And he says that he left, he's obviously been a little bit tipsy, he left his bottle of wine on the counter. And he says it, it went someone stole it. <laughs> I says, never. He says it was two pound. <laughs> two students, two pound. I wouldn't put that on me bloody chips. So I'm going to get some of these carrots and give them a good wash. And I'll probably end up pulling them all, to be honest. So I'm thinking I'm getting carrots, cabbage, can you see this? Hello, there you there. There, there. there you go. Cabbage, what else? Parsnips again. So, little carrots are there, all right, to be honest. Nice. There you go. Give these carrots a little bit of a, well, actually, I'll go and get the, the parsnips as well while I'm here. Now, I was quite impressed, I must admit, seeing that mean <laughs> with myself with the parsnips. I might have picked too many carrots, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, look at that, man. Yeah. Can I get better than that, man? <laughs> right proud of myself. See, it's not a one-off fluke. <laughs> Man, look at that. That's, <laughs> these were planted late, to be honest. Mine, I tell you what, they are sure quite good. It's the size of my foot. Look at that. <laughs> Bloody monsters. What would have been nice, mind you, some Brussels sprouts, but I haven't. I haven't got any of them, but I'm still, as they say, bringing home the bacon. <laughs> right, I think I'll take one of these baskets now. Wouldn't care, I've walked up. So, it's going to be a big carry home. Right, I think I'm going to try and get, see I haven't got that many sprout and broccoli, but I might be able to get a few twigs. Now this is just that, I'm sure it's summer sprouting broccoli, but let's just see. There's not that much there actually, but I think eventually that's going to be a good one. So we'll get some cabbage. I've only got a couple of little ones of these left. Now, right, get that. And what I have got though is oodles of the this, but I'm wondering which one to pick. Do I go for, I'm just wondering if I went for these ones or some of the new ones. Oh, I think I'll take some of the new bigger leaves over there. Take like a full head, I think. Oh, some lovely, lovely specimens here, right. That's looking particularly nice, that one there. Nice uniform leaves. <laughs> See if I know what I'm talking about. I've got to like prepare them all as well. So they're just ready to cook when they get back. I think I'll just pick a, it's more for sure that I've done it. Pick a red cabbage as well. 
I'll go for this little, just a little, ah, that'd be nice. Get it right at the base. Oh, little black pearl. Now some folks might say they're sprig onions, <laughs> big sprig onions. I'll say they're leeks. I have a few leeks in there as well. <laughs> to be honest, they were planted late, but I think three is three would be one, would <laughs> actually I forgot. I'll get a little bag of salad while I'm here. around it all because I know he loves salad <laughs> he says his worst meal was I says what's your best meal and your worst meal he says without dad without doubt dad he says we only had pasta in the house they've just been living off these big wholesale bags of pasta and he says I had a jar of mayonnaise <laughs> so it was just there's no tuna just pasta and mayonnaise <laughs> right we'll get this home and I'll show you my new method for washing not just left me <laughs> I thought this was a weird sword, man. I praise this to the Hilton. By God, it gets some bloody neglect. <laughs> so this is my workstation for washing my veg now. In the summer, we used it for like doing like the barbecues and everything, having plates to sit on. But I've got this funny little secret compound where you've got two. Actually, this moves as well. If I can just... So you've got two wash stations there, so that's what, I, that's what I use now when I'm doing... Instead of just getting the kitchen up to the eyes. Get these, get these filled up. My method is to do one batch in the dirty water, then pop them in there and get that filled up with the water. Take this now, and obviously this, <laughs> when it's really cold, I don't bother. But we can go up here there now to my recycle bin. There you go, all in. Back down for the carrots now mind what i like to do is you know because my delicate hands you know ex-hairdresser just put a little bit of hot water in just a, a little bit too cold yeah <laughs> oh just a much better <laughs> just to take the edge off to be honest that's all i do with carrots just anything that's kind of doesn't look pleasant i'll just snip off They hardly ever get kind of properly, never peel them really. I love the cabbage wash, especially outside, as I say, you know what I mean? You can really kind of get it, <laughs> get it pretty clean and dry. Get up there, get up there. <laughs> we'll tickle with the, the lettuce, yeah, just a bit. All the bugs and snails, just leave it there for a little bit. Because sometimes I don't wash the salad, but it's kind of getting old, you know what I mean? There's all sorts on, so I think it was some viewers actually, comments there, just use me good hum. In there, in there. Get up there. <laughs> oh. And there you go. That is how now I prepare the veg. Big meal tonight for Junior coming back, so there we go. Right, look after yourselves, take good care.